Hey, what's up, guys? Told you knows best here. Here, about to give you a walkthrough, my first ever walkthrough series of Portal 2. And this game is probably one of the most anticipated games to come out for the PC, Mac, Xbox, and the PlayStation 3. So, in this series, I'm going to be hopefully playing the game all the way through to the end and uploading the videos up on YouTube with my commentary as I go through and try not to look stupid while playing this game. And uh, so, I'm normally going to be uploading these videos on my Beat Soldier Win Gaming channel. And the link will be down below and at the end of this video if you want to check that channel out. I'm just going to be uploading this first video up here on my Soldier Knows Best channel just to let people know that I actually have a gaming channel and also just kind of give a little introduction to this game. So this game is kind of like a first person puzzle strategy game. And uh, if you never played the first Portal, it's probably really, really cheap on Steam. So I'll say check it out. But this game should be actually uh, pretty fun. And again, like I said, it gets really, really good reviews and I can't wait to get into this thing. Yeah. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation mm, so it looks like I'm in some type of periodically for a hotel room here. Mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Oh, gotta look up. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. And we're going through the standard this acclimation that every first person game goes through. Exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. I think I can do this. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this. So you can tell already the game is uh, pretty nice, solid graphics. Now I am playing this on my Mac. I downloaded the game via Steam. And I'm using now, ScreenFlow to actually uh, record this gameplay. So we'll see how it turns out. It's my first time actually recording some some video games with my favorite application, ScreenFlow. So hopefully it turns out really good for YouTube. You have been in suspension for assuming nine years. Hello? It's got it pretty dirty. Housekeeping was sucks. Sucks or suck, Mark. Are you good? Oh, God. You look good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are you. Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. So I heard pretty good good things about this uh this little robot here. Steven Merchant is actually the voice of this thing. And a lot of people say he's pretty funny, and I can already tell it's gonna be a fun little experience with this guy. You alright down there? Can you hear me? Hello? I think one of the things that makes Portal 2 an interesting game is because it actually makes you think. Subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration. Again, if you haven't uh, ever played it, you'll, you'll probably see now by the first couple of puzzles how it's, it's kind of the first of the take out a game that will make you actually minor case have to use these little teleportation, but little but portals you got to go through, right? uh, solve different puzzles, alarm, pick up little so objects, go through them, do all those different type of things. To being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? Talk, yes. Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. <laughs> you actually want him to say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Fanboy. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. It's probably not good. Oh, okay, shit. look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot. Yes, I do here. curse when I'm playing games, so. How are you doing down there? You still make sure you're not playing this too loud. Portal should make, actually make me that mad. I usually curse more when I'm playing Halo. That game right there. Mm. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? I've always been a bit a big fan of Valve. But I love space. They always make sure these games run very smooth and using this, this engine that makes sure the game can run on all types of systems. Not to say my system sucks, of course, not. And whose fault do you think it's going to be? I'm on my 27 inch iMac quad core i7. Got about 12 gigs of RAM. But this game normally plays good on with these type of games normally play good on all types of systems. 
So even Half-Life 2 is still probably one of the best looking games. If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. That ain't go so well. Good news. That is not a docking station. <laughs> so there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh. Well, that did it. are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're in the... Good luck! Hello, okay. and again, welcome to the Aperture Science... This looks familiar, very similar to the uh, first game. We are experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done. Even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. I just heard y'all let me the out of here. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. See that? Yeah, portal. It's the name portal. <laughs> You'll get a better understanding again for those people who have never, never played this game. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science. I need to hear what's going on here. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. All right, as we wait to the next level loads. So, so far, this is kind of like an introduction. Nothing really special going on so far. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. Yeah, that's what she said. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Right, so we gotta press the buttons. Ah, there we go. Broken glass. Okay, looks like I gotta press the other button first. Gotta get this cube. Bring it over. So I'm really liking how the game looks. Now, I know, um, what was it, a Razer is coming out with some type of um, controller system, kind of like the Wii for this game. Well, not really just for this game, but um, it's for all types of games, but it really works well, this game. I actually got a chance at E3 to play with it. And uh, so you actually had like, like a little mouse in your left hand and uh, actually like a controller in your right hand. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, there we go. But anyway, that should be coming out. Uh, I think in the summertime. Good, because of the technical. That should be pretty fun to play with this game. Your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science reintegration associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Yeah, I just hurry up and get you in the next level. All right, so coming up on probably I don't want to make these videos over ten minutes long. I'm coming up on about nine minutes here. So what I'm going to do is probably just going to cut this video here. Currently governed by a and uh, a cloud or other governing we'll see what happens up here. Uses two and you head over to my Beast Soldier Win. The video links will be at the end. And I'll have some more videos going over this game so far. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over oh! Whoa. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? <laughs> That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. 
<laughs> See you in an hour, hopefully. That's like listening to that guy. All right, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, head over to my Peace Soldier win. I should have a part of about two or three videos up there already continuing this. And I'll catch you later. Peace.